everyone, and welcome back to Equilinox, where we finally have the jungle flower! Look at this lovely little thing. Right here next to our teeming schools of clownfish, we have got a new addition, plink, to our wonderful trickster's jungle. The jungle flower, which so far, oh my gosh, it already has spread over here too. Holy cow, it is like ready to go. So far, it looks a little bit like our jungle plant, which is now complaining about population density. Come on, come on, you're supposed to be a jungle. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. I am so in love with this. But all right, guys, we are doing it. We are doing it. We are continuing to spread the trickster's jungle. It really is just like this tiny little thing. And I really imagine a jungle as something vibrant and abundant and powerful. So I plan on continuing to spread it up along the coastline. Who knows? Maybe we'll even transform like this mountain into the trickster's mountain. Like that would be really, really fun. I still want to make this into like a little mushroom island. We still need to work on our desert. Maybe I can put like a desert hair over here at some point in the future. But for now, we are going to try, even though it's hard for me, because there's so much happening in this world all the time, to maintain our focus on getting the task, the mighty jungle uh, finished, which is just like, it literally just happened on its own. <laughs> All right, well, we have bred some of the higher tier jungle species and we have added them to our jungle biome to create a dense jungle. This would be the perfect place for some insects to live. So we have now unlocked butterflies and unlocked the catching butterflies and flutterby tasks. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is what I wanted. I am so happy. We need to make really, really, really happy frogs in order for them to uh, be content enough that we can evolve our fiscus tree, as weird as that sounds, because once the frogs are super happy, then we will, we will be able to come in and evolve them into toads, but they're not very happy right now, and I think the reason is that they don't have enough food, slash they need some insects to try to chase around as their favorite creature, so lucky for them, they just unlocked the butterfly. A very colorful insect which flies around in fields. It can increase the productivity of nearby fruit trees and enjoys flowery areas. A prime target for frogs and toads. What? It increases the productivity of fruit trees? That is so cool. Okay, we've got to put it down. It's very expensive. Oh my gosh, it starts life as a caterpillar. I cat a can't. I cat a can't. How cute this caterpillar is. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. Is it eating that flower? It's so cute! Look at this little one! Live! Live, little one! You need to live and have many children, and it will make many of our toads happy. And if you were near a poppy, you could turn into a bee, which would be a- <gasps> It took flight! It's flying around, you guys! Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's amazing. Did it make my, my, my frogs happy? My frogs are not very happy because their population density is so high. Look, there's already baby caterpillars. There's already baby caterpillars showing up. This is so exciting. Oh, wow. All right, well, we're gonna try to make my frogs super happy. I think it's just, oh, look, there's another caterpillar or another butterfly. They are not wasting any time. They are getting going on more and more of them. This is fantastic. I want to add a butterfly over in some of the other fields. Um, I wonder if there's a way where I could like link these two sides because they really haven't had a lot of luck so far. Um, let me go ahead and try. Mm, maybe some jungle flowers? All right, I'm going to put down some more jungle flowers in a few spots to try to encourage, there we go, my plants to spread a little bit more. And we're gonna continue to try, oh, and if I evolve the tropical flower, it can become a tropical plant. Interesting, interesting indeed. Uh, and then I also can evolve the hmm, pagoda tree from a birch tree and the witch wood from a fiscus tree. Okay, what, are my toads happy yet? What about you, little one? <gasps> this little one's happy! Quick, 
Evolve it into a toad. It's a frog who is super content. Oh my gosh, I think he just ate one of my butterflies. Oh my gosh, there's so many butterflies. Oh, this is amazing, you guys. Wow. Okay, I, I definitely want to put more butterflies down. So let's see, I think I have, um, and I hope that they can like really bring in a ton of uh, DP as time goes on. So let me see if I can get more. I really want more trees. I'm kind of holding out for more trees. So that little guy is evolving into a toad. And once he becomes a happy toad, whoa, I can get a witchwood tree started. That's so cool. But once he becomes a happy, happy frog, he'll become a toad and I can put toads down and I can finally, finally, finally get the canopy tree. Uh, but let's go ahead and start, I guess, the witchwood tree while I wait, because then we have to wait for the toads to be born. This is exciting. Are the butterflies up and going over here yet? They sure are. Look at that. Gosh, I wish I had a better place to get a regular banana farm going. I just don't seem to be able to keep the bananas happy. Let's see, banana tree. Oh, we've evolved a toad! Yes! Oh, hello, little guy. You look just like the frogs, but you're not. And I wonder if you're going to be happier by water, but I'm going to put you over here for a minute. Okay, he's con he's content over here. And there's a lot of butterflies starting up. Um, And are my fiscus trees large over here by chance? Uh, let's see. Oh, I do have a large enough fiscus tree. All right, so we are working on the toads. And then once the, we have two toads, so the toads have babies, uh, then we will be able to start evolving the canopy tree and getting more trees in this jungle. And you may be wondering, why do I care so much about these trees? Why do I care so much about these caterpillars and these toads? Well, other than the fact that they're amazingly awesome, in order to evolve a toucan, we need to have all of these things in place. And I think the bigger trees will help to really keep the environment uh, more stable. And speaking of stable environment, I'm really worried about this middle part of our little tropical atoll that we have. So is there anything that I can put down? <gasps> Mango trees! Oh my gosh, how do I unlock a flower tree? What am I doing? I am just missing out on all of the fun. We have a witchwood tree! No, this is not a drill. We have a witchwood tree! Oh my gosh! Okay, I don't know how to make it super happy. I don't think it's gonna be super happy here. Why? Because it likes to be, uh, like species jungle flower and frog. You have both of them near you, you are in the jungle. It periodically produces fruit, which can be eaten by animals. And it's a, provides a nesting spot for birds. Yes! All right, I hope that you're gonna be happy here, little one. Population density low. And this needs to be, you would think, oh, it has a little bit of grassland. It has a little bit of jungle. That's why this is kind of a mixed biome now because we added in a few different things like my beautiful precious tulips, uh, which are they still here? Yeah, my precious tulips are still here. This is so fun to see like which flowers end up becoming dominant and why. A strange mutation of Acer tree has been born. <gasps> Look at this! It's like a cherry blossom tree! Oh my gosh. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot let you die. You must stay with us and you can become a large tree since when? Oh, there's just so much happening. All right, so what makes an acer tree really happy? If it's below 65 meters, it doesn't like to be near tall trees. Uh, this stunningly colorful tree stands out beautifully in fields, a nice addition to any area, prefers not to live near other tree species. So you like forest, grassland, and woodland. So I think I know exactly where I'm going to take you, you beautiful cherry blossom precious thing. May I introduce you to our lilac fields? Hopefully this will go well. Please be happy. Thank goodness it's happy. Look at that. You guys, we have a cherry blossom acer tree. I am so happy. It has come over to our precious lavender fields where our precious lavender sheep have been preyed on quite intensely by the wolves. The wolf population is still here. Uh, it's still pretty stable. It seems like they have been working more on the mountain goats lately. They seem to alternate between mountain goats and um, the sheep. 
And meanwhile, the chicken population in Chicken Valley seems to be holding pretty stable with this family of foxes who have a unique symbiotic relationship. As you can see, food offerings are kind of left back and forth for the two types of uh, carnivores that we have. Holy cow, and we completed the butterfly, the butterfly uh, tasks without even trying. <laughs> we now have the flutterby. In a wor the world would be pretty boring without the presence of some creepy crawlies. The first insect you can add into your world is a butterfly. These creatures start off as little caterpillars, but soon grow into glorious, colorful butterflies. Just make sure there are plenty of flowers nearby. Have 12 butterfly in the world. We have achieved that. We have now unlocked the honey I'm home task. And then we also have catching butterflies. Some species, such as the frog and the toad, are able to catch butterflies. Create a habitat where both frogs and butterflies can live together. Somehow I doubt that's in harmony. And watch those frogs jump around like crazy, trying to catch a tasty bite to eat. Unlocks pink tree! Oh my gosh, it was a sign that we had that acer tree. The acer tree that looks like a cherry blossom. This will unlock the lush task and butterfly hunter task. What is even happening? We have a whole new species of tree. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't even keep track of everything right now. <laughs> okay, where is this pink tree? The pink tree spreads the lush biome. A cute pink tree that thrives in the lush biome. This fast growing tree is nothing special, but it helps to spread the lush biome and is used to breed more impressive trees. What could be more impressive than this beautiful thing? I can't even think straight. This is amazing. Uh, where should I put, uh, should I work on the lush biome right now? Ah, there's so many things happening. All right, we have the witchwood tree. It's kind of twisted together with this jungle plant. It cannot breed with other things. It's kind of unhappy. It, it really wants to have less grassland stuff around it. And we're still working on the canopy tree. So back to canopy tree before I forget. Canopy tree, yes. All right, well, we just got a whole host of really cool trees that we have unlocked. Um, and I have to say, I really want more things Yay! Okay, the butterfly hunter is actually going to be a reoccurring thing. Am I going to have any butterflies left at this rate? I hope so. Look at all the little caterpillars scurry by. Oh, this is awesome. I love this. Um, can I get another fiscus tree back there? I'm going to put one down because I, I want to establish things a little bit more. What other animals can live? in Tata's jungle. The toad, the lizard, the warthog! <gasps> we need a warthog in Tata's jungle. It will put up with the jungle. It likes large rocks. It doesn't like grass tufts. Uh, and it likes root vegetables, fallen fruit, and fruit bushes. Well, we need more fruit if that's what we're gonna do. So I think we need more witchwood trees then. So lives in jungle. Cause these, oh my gosh, they're so expensive. Holy doodle cows. Um, it, it really, what, what are the two things that the witchwood likes? It likes frogs and it likes jungle flowers. Okay. Well, let's put a frog species down here. In fact, I think I was trying to breed for cyan frogs. No, I, I didn't have the DP for cyan. We just have brown and green frogs over there. So, and then we have toads over here. This guy's very old, so he's about to pass away. And I'm not- Oh, there goes a butterfly! My gosh, it's so dramatic. But I want a normal, like, toad, or normal frog over here. What does he like to have next to him? He likes mushrooms, flowers, and insects. Well, okay. Let's put another- uh, There's a butterfly down here. And then let's go ahead and get more mushrooms. I should be able- well, I can't really move my precious, precious mushroom down. Let's grab one of you. Alright. And I'm gonna transplant you over here. And there we go. Make a happy little spot for some happy little frogs. Are you happy now? Oh, now he's happy. And then let's go ahead and I'm going to ask this frog to please consider becoming cyan, even though that's gonna be very expensive. And then it should have a happy little life over here. And eventually we can add in another witchwood tree. 
So let's see, lives in jungle, witchwood tree. And now the witchwood tree is thrilled to pieces. It has frogs, it has flowers, it is everything that its precious self could ever want. And we are even going to increase its productivity. We're going to yank it, uh, can I do it by 20%, 25%? All right, we're going to increase its productivity by 25% for its descendants. So hopefully we will have a lot of fruit just pouring down on the ground around here. And we can add in a boar and we will call it Tata's line and after our trickster god in niche. And we will hopefully be able to have uh, really cool mutations on those boars. We do have a cool beige boar, beige-ish, that was like a strange mutation. Or did I do that on purpose? I can't remember, but we do have a beige boar that we could poke, but I want two cans. I want big trees. All right, so let's see. Was that everything we were working on? All right, let's speed this up and see what happens with our canopy tree. I would like to see more of our jungle spread down here too. A few more jungle flowers, please. There we go, they're so expensive. And maybe some tropical flowers. Well, they're pretty content. Yeah, we're, we'll figure out how to spread things out a little bit more. All right, spreads, jungle, viscous tree, and out of DP. All right, so back to watching. Oh, we're almost there. <gasps> we're almost there. After all of these frogs, after all of this chaos, we have evolved a canopy tree. I don't know where to put it. In the canopy? Is it mad? It's happy. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> there goes another butterfly. All right, guys, here we are. A very large jungle tree. Lots of branches on this tree for jungle dwelling birds, such as the toucan to land on. This is one of the tallest trees in Equilinox, and it exclusively grows in higher altitude jungle areas. Well, you guys know what this means. I think we are going to have a little bit of a connection between this little lying jungle, which we might actually make turn into a swamp along here. That would be really cool, especially with Tata's boars, uh, which actually harkens to some secret Patreon only RimWorld streams where we have boar armies. But it may harken to uh, those boars and Tata over here for a swamp. And then I may turn this untouched mountain that we haven't done anything with ever finally into a grand jungle mountain. And that may be where we really have a banana mountain. That would be amazing. But all right, we have a lot more to do. I am so happy to see some of my precious uh, special mutations, like my super special nut trees, still carrying on. It looks like my guinea pigs have gotten quite large. Oh my gosh, how big are you? <laughs> okay, they're normal size guinea pigs, but they look pretty big. And uh, it's been a little while, but we definitely should start poking some more of this land, seeing what's going on, watching as the beautiful special mutations continue to spread. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. But we still have a jungle to build. And I think we might start spreading it over to this side of the land too. So, all right. If you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our wonderful little butterflies. And if you are interested in joining us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.